welcome you. Thank you. Yes. yes. Um, so sometime a few months ago, maybe we were going kind of back and forth and talking about this, and she didn't have a spot in this beautiful space quite yet when we no. spoke. Um, she was partnering with some of our other businesses to do things, MCC or Artist Garden, to, to do that. And we love when people do that. Um, and so when she came in and said, hey, I found this, this great space and I'm so excited, we were excited for you. Um, we want to give a quick shout out to Krista here at the Cypress House. Um, we love it when people support other new businesses or small businesses, and Krista is amazing at that. So thank you, Krista, thank for, you. for doing that. Yes. yes, thank you for having your spot. Yes, yes. Um, so we're very excited. This was something that is a passion of yours, a dream. You you saw this, did some started doing it home base, some home parties yes. and that, and always knew you wanted to be in a space somewhere to get a little bit more exposure and kind of show everybody. And permanent jewelry is like on fire right now, oh, isn't it? Is. Like it, you can't you can't look on Facebook at all without something, something going on and seeing all of that. So that's great, great for you to capitalize on that and to to um get this beautiful space here in Rochelle. Um, as we always say, we know that when you open a business, you can open it anywhere. And we're always very, very grateful and thankful. Um, that's my standard line. Everyone knows that, but I truly, truly believe that and truly feel that. We are so grateful that um, you chose to do that here in Rochelle. Oh, yeah, so, me too. Um, <laughs> good, good. We like that response. We like that. So on behalf of the Chamber, welcome. Thank you. Um, we are excited to have you. We're excited to see how this can grow and more collaborations, more partnerships. Yes. So. Um, now, Mayor Barrows would like to welcome you on behalf of the city. Well, thank you, Tricia, once again. <clears throat> You've taken everything I was going to talk about. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Bradley, you're in trouble, pal. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, and when I think back on the small businesses, I think of our spark shop mm -hmm. and how you know people that started out smaller and they worked their way up to having their own space and all of that. Uh, we're so thankful that you started here, not only to enhance you know the Cypress House, but you enhance another business to our community. Right. And all those Facebook hits and all that stuff bring more people to Rochelle, and that's what we're all about. And you have to remember as you move forward that we, we all are in this together. So the chamber, the city, the small business, you know, we like to do whatever we can do to help our small businesses to make them stay, not only survive, but thrive. And through the pandemic, that became very apparent of how the city feels about helping our small businesses. And uh, as we all know, and I'm not going to steal any of Brad's lines, but, you know, getting any business to come to Illinois to, in today's world is a bit of a challenge. And we're very proud of our local businesses. We feel like the small businesses that we help maintain. And we don't worry about what goes on elsewhere, but we want to see Rochelle thrive. So uh, on behalf of the city of Rochelle, welcome. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. We are fortunate to once again, I know, I have to say that publicly. No, publicly. <laughs> uh, we are fortunate to once again have State Representative Bradley Fritz with us today. Well, thanks, Tricia, Mayor, uh, everyone for coming out. Uh, this really is very special for you, and we're excited to be here and participate in it with you. Um, you know, oftentimes, as Mayor alluded to, we talk about businesses moving out of Illinois. And when we talk about fostering new business, you know, a lot of times we talk about big corporations that are going to bring in hundreds or even thousands of jobs. And what what I think we often what we often forget is that America is truly run by people like you, small business owners, people who start a mom and pop thing in their backyard and all of a sudden turn it into a thriving community business, and that's what you're doing. So. I wish you the best of luck. Congratulations. Thank if there's you. anything that uh, my office or the mayor, Tricia, that we can do for you, please don't hesitate to reach out. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Come back this way so everyone can oh, see God. you. I know, I know. <laughs> I warned her. I do always warn them that they have to speak. So yes. now if you want to give us a little bit of background and kind of tell us how we got here. So permanent jewelry is something I've been wanting to do for a while now. It's something that is customized to the customer so they can do it however they want in a more affordable price than actually going to a jeweler. So it's all gold filled or sterling silver where you could do it to dedicate towards your kids, your family, your pets, your loved ones, anyone you want to do it to or just something that you like yourself. And it gets welded on so it stays on forever until you decide to take it off. And we seem to be a pretty big hit around here in Rochelle and I'm Pretty Yay. proud of that. Yay. That's really all I have to say. All right. Well, thank you. Welcome. Are you ready? Yep. One, two, 